Yep, I'm out here watering these tomatoes. I said I wasn't going to water again. They need it so bad. They're so dry. So I'm working a little differently this time. I'm watering from the bottom. So when I last watered, I watered from the top of the hill and let the water drain down. But the plants at the bottom of the hill, even though I saw water on them, the water did reach them. It didn't have a chance to truly penetrate deeply into the ground. So I am watering them from the bottom of the hill up this time. And that way they'll already have broken through the first layer of soil and they won't be hydrophobic when the water reaches them they'll be ready to absorb it into the next layer of soil so it'll get a deeper water so as i come up the hill the water that is not enough to seep into each plant as i water each plant will roll downhill and water down there the beans are germinating. The beans, oh crap. Hope it's not too late. They germinated fast with the bags on them, didn't they? Oh, I hope this doesn't mess them up. It's okay, it's okay if it does, it's okay. We'll just plant more. They could get sunburned from this sudden exposure or they could do great. So, let's see. I am crossing my fingers. That's a lot of crickets that the ducks don't that is a super ton of crickets i need to start a cricket colony um hoping and praying the ducks don't come and eat these seedlings so i'm going to keep a close eye on them for the first couple of hours make sure nobody comes in here and starts picking at them if they do i'm gonna have to find something to fence it in yeah, this is going to be very tempting for these ducks. I know if I was a duck, I'd come and eat every single one of these if I could. So maybe I shouldn't even walk away and try to watch. Oh, I have so much to do today. Oh, I'm already feeling tired. I'm going through kind of a bad food eating detox for eating good food because, you know, vacation. I eat a lot more carbs and sugar than I should have. I've been trying not to eat any carbs and sugar. Well, no sugar and low carbs only uh, to keep my A1C down. So it's been making me feel better, making my symptoms less for my autoimmune and everything. So I like it, but going on vacation made it hard to stick to that healthier eating. And I felt good for about a week or two, but then I think because I got back into eating good again, my body's detoxed from the bad. And I've just been real lethargic and brain fog. So if my videos seem a little lackluster, that's why. <laughs> well, that was fun, not. I just got drenched. Um, I don't know how to operate this thing. I, can't, I followed the instructions, which is literally three steps. One says put parts together, turn, connect to hose, and then activate sprinkler by waving your hand in front. Okay, well, the sprinkler was on before I waved my hand in front. And when I turned it off, the sprinkler didn't stop. It didn't turn off. I don't know how this is supposed to work. I'm gonna call it quits for now. I got some homeschooling to do today. So I gotta go in. I'll have Ryan take a look at it when he gets off, see if he can figure it out. I'll look it up on Google, see if I can figure out the correct instructions. The instructions were very vague on the box and it didn't have any pamphlet or anything. So hopefully I'll find better instructions online. Get, 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 get. <sighs> Oh, oh, I don't like ducks anymore. All right, I got four bamboo stakes hammered in to the corners, and I'm going to try going around the edges with the agarbon, see if that keeps them out. 
It might not work at all, but it's worth a try until Ryan gets home and we can work on something a little more permanent. All right. This might work for now until they figure out they can get under it or over it. But maybe this is enough because ducks are not the smartest creatures. So maybe. I need bird netting, but this is what I have, so I'm using what I have. <laughs> Well, that didn't take long. My temporary fencing is working for the ducks and our green beans are growing. They did do a little bit of damage here and there, but I think we'll have a good amount growing. So pretty cool that I can actually say I now know what the female flower looks like. I hadn't seen any for a while so I was like hmm maybe I don't know what it's gonna look like but now that I'm starting to see the female flowers they've got just like male flowers don't have it female flowers do have it just like um, on squash and cucumbers and such. Uh, snake gourd bean getting pretty big but you can see Right here, there's a new one just starting too. So we've got these two big ones. This one over here, doing really good. And then we've got a medium one growing under here. So we'll have a couple at least to try. So far I'm saying to myself that I really like growing this one. I like it a lot, it seems to be pest resistant. I saw hummingbirds nectaring on it. The fruit seems to be well enough abundance. Oh, here's some more that uh, it's worth the effort and it wasn't a lot of effort, so. Yes, I'm watering <laughs> as I video. What are you getting? Crown cherries. You like those, don't you? Yes. I ate all of them. <laughs> you did. You ate all of the ones I brought in already. I'm going to pull a couple of these off the plant because I don't want them to get buggy. And it's nearly all the way done. Let it sit on the counter till tomorrow and it'll be done. Seems like. This is our first real go at having a good harvest on these so it's been fun <laughs> i'll eat all these <laughs> yeah you will <laughs>